Hi, my name is Jody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Throughout my journey, I've met some pretty interesting people, done crazy things, had heartbreaks, met the love of my life, laughed until I cried, traveled to over 64 countries, learned some pretty hard lessons. I've loved hard, lost one, and then some. I'm a daughter, mother, wife, sister, best friend, costume designer, preschool teacher, senior food awards judge, observer style woman of the year awardee, secretary, television host, socialite, makeup artist, sales rep, model, and now YouTuber. Join me as I talk about everything from motherhood to makeup, style, lifestyle, and just about everything in between. Come along with me as I show you a glimpse into my crazy, hectic life. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jody. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look with the piano palette that um, Spice has come out with. Now, um, this is a piano palette by Faces and Laces, sorry. So, the packaging is really cool. It looks like a little piano keyboard. And then we have these really vibrant colors inside there. They're very heavily um, pigmented. I don't know what I'm doing yet, so... And then she also sent me, you know, Spice, I'm a girl. She sent me the brushes. Of course, they're blue. We're part of the Smurf gang over here. So I'm gonna be using her brushes as well. Let me actually take them out of this really cute microphone. Levi loves a microphone. I don't think he realizes that girly stuff inside. But I just think the packaging is really, really cute. A keyboard and a microphone, very cute. Okay, so I have washed my face um, and I put, I used some toner. After I washed my face, I used toner. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on my, just my little products that I use under my makeup. So the first thing that I'm gonna put is mandelic acid. Now, mandelic acid is great for um, for the skin like so for me vitamin C wasn't really doing it it was a little too harsh so I switched to mandelic acid and it has done a world of wonders for me it's available right here in Jamaica at Future Aesthetics and what it has done for me it has helped with the texture of my skin so I'm just gonna use just a couple drops here I just wear this under makeup so I put my mandelic acid on in the morning when I wash my face and in the evening before bed. And I just put it on um, as my first layer before any other creams or sunblock or anything like that. And I just pat it in. So it's like a alpha hydroxy acid, and if you want to say. So it helps with the renewal of the skin. So I really love that. I really love my mandelic acid. Anyway, and the next thing I'm going to put just under the eyes, eyes need a little bit of care. This is by Cora and this is an eye oil. Back with that YouTube hand. Just a little, it has a nice roller ball. So in the night, I'll just kind of roll it and give a little massage. But because it's an oil, I don't want to put on too much right now. Okay. And then years ago, I used to watch a lot of um, Queen of Blending on YouTube. Like that was my introduction to YouTube. And she always used this primer. It's Skin by Dimitri James. And I've, since then, I've just been using this primer. She introduced me to it. Um, and I actually brought her down to do my wedding makeup. So yeah, I brought on the Queen of Blending from um, LA. And she came and she did my wedding makeup and my bridesmaids and my mom and stuff like that. And I was just really exciting because, you know, you see these people, you know, online and you're like, oh, they're so cool. And I got to meet her and she got to do my makeup. So the looks that she was doing, you know, on YouTube, I was like, oh my gosh, can you do that for me? So it was really exciting. All right, so I'm just gonna blend in my, not blend, rub in my um, primer here. And it just feels so nice and soft and it also helps the pores to not look as big and open. All right. Rub off the liquid toothpaste in the corner of my mouth. Sorry about that. And then boogle, rub it out. And then boogle. Okay. All right. I should have plucked my eyebrows, but I didn't, so forgive me. Oh, sorry, I keep the show. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my, what is? Concealer. This is NC35 by MAC. I've also been using this color and this brand for years. I just find that it doesn't, um, can you see me? I don't know how YouTubers do this, you know. I think beauty video is the hardest. How do you line up that you can see me, that I can see in the mirror, that lighting is good? Anyway, yeah, just, I hope this come out. Because for a long time I want to shoot this, you know, I'm in my closet hiding from my children. So I'm using my, um, one of my finger them. And I'm just kind of pressing and patting and I don't really want to swipe and rub because this skin here under the eye is one of the most delicate. So you don't want to stretch it out and rub it up too hard because because it's so thin, it's easy to get wrinkles. And yeah, we don't want wrinkles. All right, so I have a couple of bobos on my chin. So I'm just gonna press on just to kind of dull the red. I actually squeezed them last night. They're looking a little reddish. I don't know what that is, but we're just gonna put some concealer on it so you don't see it. Anywhere else? Oh, like a bobo hair. And I'm just kind of pressing it in like as a blending technique. Beautiful. Alright, now when I'm doing um, like a more evening look or I'm going out and I have the time, I actually go for a liquid foundation. I use YouTube hand. I use the Makeup Forever HD. They've actually, I believe they've changed the packaging. Um, but I haven't been to a Sephora in a while. So I'm gonna put, what do I usually do this again? I haven't gone out in a really long time. Oh yeah, dot it all over my face. Wow. Oh, I haven't gone out in a while. I'm just gonna dot, 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 dot. All over my face. <clears throat> just need a little more. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. I'm going to actually, you know what? I found out when you wet these things, actually you're supposed to wet them. Let me wet it up. Welcome back. All right, so I'm gonna go in now with my beauty, my wet beauty blender. I'm just gonna take off the liquor bit that was on my wrist and just thump up myself. So this is basically just spreading the dots. And kind of blending them out so I don't know who came up with this particular application of beat up beat up yourself I'm just gonna put on a sponge here who am I kidding let's get it done so I've always loved makeup I really really like makeup my mom used to work as a flight attendant at Air Jamaica and I remember the day that I found her eyeshadow palette with the bright magenta pink. I mean, this palette was so old. She hadn't worked at Air Jamaica in like years. So I'm not sure why Nana was keeping the palette. But anyway, anyway. So I found the palette and I was the beautiful magenta, bright turquoise blue. And I used to teeth out her makeup when I was older. I used to try different things. And then my girlfriends and I, when we were in school, somebody had a foundation. Yo, that foundation was a, like a little powder. It was so bomb. And I would just have to try and steal it from the girls so I could wear it. And then they'd steal it back. I don't know why, it was really good though. My little powder foundation from somebody's mother's makeup thing that we were fighting over. Anyway, and then so I went from using, what did I first start off with? I think I first started off with a little foundation and then, you know, I'd put some mascara as well. And then I just built from there, so then I would start with a little, you know, a little shadow eyeliner, little blush, until years later it became like a, a full makeup look. <clears throat> and then because I kept practicing and kept, you know, wearing my makeup, wearing my makeup, I love makeup, I got, I got pretty good at it. And then, um, when I moved home from Denmark, I'd wear makeup to school every day in Denmark. So I was, I was trying different things, blending different 
um, eyeshadows, just go to school. Because over there, it was so cool. Like, I'm coming from Immaculate, where I wore a uniform and um, no makeup. So I'm going to school abroad, and there's boys. So I would wear my makeup and, you know, look cute and, you know, create looks every day. This, I'm, I don't know, I'm just talking, so I'm just adding more. <clears throat> anyway, um, came home and a couple of people, I guess, I, I think you first, how did you first start off? Somebody said, oh, can you do my makeup to go out? Carnival day, can you just help me with my makeup? Tracy Fever asked me to help her. And then, you know, when people are like, oh, who did your makeup? Oh, Jodie. Then friends call me, I'm doing a shoot. Did a couple friends makeups for some photo shoots, headshots. Bride called me to do our entire bridal party. And then I had a girlfriend who went and did the, um, the Diane Air airbrush makeup course. So when she came home, I just asked her about it. Hey, you know, tell me more, blah, 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 blah. You know, what did you do? And she told me what she learned in the course and then I went on YouTube and looked up a couple videos and then I bought the machine and I was doing airbrush makeup for a couple people um I I did the airbrush foundation airbrush br um blush I couldn't get to do the eyes I don't know how people do airbrush eyes and that was like a big thing at the time like people would be calling me like oh did you airbrush and there weren't a lot of people in Jamaica doing airbrush at all it was me and the girl who went to the course so, you know, when people found out I had the airbrush machine. Oh, can you come and do my makeup? And then um, I didn't really know how to charge anybody because I hadn't gone to school for it. And um, I didn't really, it, it was my, my makeup, my brushes, my makeup. And I didn't want the opportunity to arise where, you know, somebody of a darker complexion would ask, you know, can you do my makeup? And then what would I say to them? I can't, I don't have a color. So I was like, you know, I either need to invest in this and get all the colors so that I can be more diverse or, you know, I'm just not going to do this because it's not fair. How can I call myself a makeup artist and I don't know how to do all complexions? Um, and then I was just kind of, you know, just doing friends, doing fiddling around, fooling around. But when I realized that it's not something that I want to make money off of, then, oh, I'm skipping steps to tell you. And I just stopped doing it took up a lot of my time too and then after i did everybody i would have to um i'd have to wash my brushes and my brushes were just getting so straggly anyway i just put on so I, this is a benyai banana powder and i have it in this little um old powder container here and i just put that under my eyes to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow that i'm going to use also it helps to set the concealer this is how I do my makeup. I'm not no makeup artist. No one nobody in the comments cuss me off. Oh me do the step them wrong. This is how I do my makeup. Okay? Thanks. So I'm just putting on, oh, and this is my um, primer. I use the Urban Decay. I just find that this primer is really nice. It um it helps to make the colors pop some more but I don't know how these colors going pop anymore they're just so vibrant and just should be in the corner is this thing recording I kick myself in the ass tell me that how is the lighting oh girl look like a dopey all right get all of the high so maybe I should have like thought about where am I going you know what am I doing this look for all right let me see let me see the palette oh let me see the palette oh see it under here so we have we have some really bright colors here I, this is like all right mm. let me do a I'm gonna I am gonna have to mix this actually I could use mm. What if I do the green, the green is called Jamaica, that's good, the blue is called Spice, of course. Let me do a bronze, brown, gold, and the green in the corner. All right, let me do that. That may be playing it safe, but who am I fooling? Oh, all right, let me go into Spice's brushes. I need like a, can this work? 
What kind of brush them? Oh, this, this will be it. All right. Let me put a little bit more of the banana powder just simply because this stuff looks like it's gonna be just give me a lot of fallout. Okay. So I'm going to go with Hip Hop and then I'll put a little bit of green on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Hip Hop which is this one here. I'm going to use that on the outer corner. Oh, it's not as um. Oh, and I went in with her brush here. This one is the, the this one. Mm, it's very nice. Oh, oh, okay, okay, spice, okay, spice. All right, so I'm just kind of making like a way you call it a V, and building out to the corner. This is nice. This is definitely a palette that I would um, use for carnival because these colors are so vibrant. I saw a few. Um, clips on Spice's page where some of the makeup artists were doing looks with, oh, Jamaicans are so creative and they're so talented. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, this one is of course. I'm just gonna try to get it as even as possible. You know. All right, and then I am going to put a little Jamaica, which is this green one on the corner. Just put some little green in there. It's like, you know. Oh yeah, it's election time too. Oui. Anyway, put a pop green in there. Just right here. And I'm blending and I'm blending and I'm blending. I didn't, did I even wipe off my brush? No. That's all right. That's all right, that's okay. We still love you anyway. Oh, and I washed my hair too. So we are doing a look, hunty. All right. Let's try another brush, just for the hell of it. Let us do this little okey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's a, this is a, it's a flat head. It's not a screwdriver, girl. It's not a screwdriver. Oh, this is a roundy one. I'm going to use this, I'm trying to use my forehead as a background. You know what I should have done before this video? I should have shaved my face. Because when I, I like to shave my face, when you shave your face, you get rid of all of the little vellus hairs, or as my mom likes to call them, peach fuzz. And the makeup will go on a whole lot smoother. And then you won't have like that shadowing, like all the right hair, that black hair that just looks so shadowy. And I don't know how people just deal with all the hair on their face. I don't like, I don't like facial hair. It's not supposed to. Well, I'm sure it is supposed to be there. For some reason, it's supposed to be there, but I don't like it there. All right, I think that's good. Where's that tissue that I have? All right, now. I'm going to go in with reggae. Reggae. Reggae is this gold one here. And I'm going to use a, oh, where's a flathead I said earlier? It's like a flathead here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just, just wet it a little so that I get a really bright gold. I don't know if I'm gonna re regret this because her, oh, her pigments are just so strong. No, that's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. 
Okie dokie, okie dokie. What are these weird songs that I sing? Oh, always singing some stupidness. Sean is so lucky I don't have a better voice because I would just be recording, recording, recording. I would just record him right off the charts. And now, ladies and gentlemen, performing Ready to Come Out is Jade. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of, where the gold meets the green, just kind of tap it out. Tap it out to get like a blend. Rub, 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 tap it out. Tap it out. Tap it out. Okay. I'm trying to use all the spices brushes. So I'm gonna go back with this um, fluffy brush here, the first one that I used. El Fluffy. And I'm just gonna try and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but okay. Just put a little more bronze, but that was a bad move. That was a bad move. I shouldn't have done that. Just do it on the other side. So. All right, so we're just gonna. Mm, actually, it doesn't look bad. At least it's on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna put some highlighter up at the top and I'm gonna use the Genie, which is this one down here. Or should I use? sheet let me see hold on hold oh no sheet is pretty white we're gonna go back to genie or we're gonna use genie what is a brush i can use i'm gonna use this small fluffy brush or this it's not a fluffy this is a small bullet in the genie and just get my right under my eyebrows right under my eyebrows Sean is gonna be like, why the hell do you have on so much makeup? It's the middle of the week. Where are you going? It's Corona. It's Corona season. All right. We're looking good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna look and see if there's any... I'm done with that. All right, so here's the palette again. And the colors that I use, I use the Genie on top. I use the, um, what is it called again? The Hip Hop on the outer corners and I put a little Jamaica in there and then the Reggae by the corner. I'm gonna keep that just close by because after I put on my liquid liner, sometimes I make a mistake, so I like to just brush it out. But, wow, not a mash that's all. all right. Spices brushes again. What's this one? What is useful? This one is foundation. I'm going to just rub up. No, I'm not going to rub it off yet. All right, so now I'm going to do my eyeliner. So what I like to do is sometimes my fingers get all moisty, moisty. So just the same banana powder. I'm just going to just, just dip my fingertips in it so it's because I don't want to take off any of the foundation that I have on there. So I'm just making sure my fingers are powdery. Oh, sorry guys, I'm not used to this, <laughs> you know, YouTube and all. So I'm going in with a Stella liquid liner, but it has this felt tip. So it just kind of makes it so much easier. You know, people ask me all the time how I get such a nice, I hope I get a nice wing now. Now that I'm saying this, I'm going, just one second, I'm going to be quiet. That's so hard for me. All right, hold on, hold on. Being quiet. All right. Wait, let me turn this. Zoom it. See, sometimes people ask me, Oh my gosh, how you do your wing liner so nice? It's because I practice. On a Saturday, I just put on my wing liner. All right, so see I have the over the eye. So now I'm going to make the, the line up. So, let me just do it so. So from the corner of my eye, up this one line there, and then go, go to the middle of the line. and then fill it in.
And then I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker, so I'm just gonna run over the line here. All right, let's not get too short now, ready to hook it up. There we go. And now here's the hardest part, try and match it on the other side. So as I said, I got this, I think I'm good at the wing line now. I'm not the best, but I think I'm pretty good, because I practice. All right, let me get the other line. Maybe you'll see this one better. So quiet. I hate quiet. I don't like quiet, you know. I don't like quiet. Okay, so I'm just kind of just darkening this black now. So, one thing that I would do, I don't even know if I'm gonna do that today. So, if like uh, if I want this the black eyeliner to look like more pronounced, I will just put some black eyeshadow. Maybe I should do that with a small brush and just make it look a little bit more pronounced. But I think that is looking real good. Real, real good now. I don't like seeing gaps. All right. So now I'm going to sort out my foundation. Let me see. How I looking? So like a dopey. All right. So that's the eyes, and then you saw how I brought out like the bronze and the green. So what I will do is. Just leave it before you mess it up. Let me just leave it. Just leave it. Nobody would know. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So I'm going to go in now with... Sorry, I'm sitting on the tie for my rope. I'm going to go in now with my Laura Mercier powder. This is in Pure Honey. I love this powder. It It's good with like oil absorption and it also has color to it. And it's just, to me, it's just my good, good, up, good up color. So there's some deposited in the cover here, which is actually a lot in, wow, that is a lot in the cover. You know, just go for it. Go for it. Life is for living. So this, you know, I'm setting my liquid foundation and I'm also using it to just kind of wipe off that banana powder. That was not my color, because it was banana color. And this is where I'd like go down on my neck. So I wouldn't really use a liquid, I would use a powder. And then after when I put on whatever clothes it is, I would do my chest and my boobies. Get your ears too. Listen, see before I leave my house, I just make sure that the makeup don't kick up on my nose hair. Imagine you're talking to people, hi, how are the kids? Boo boo. I think I'm obsessed with boo boo. All right, so now I'm going to just, so I have my face, but I need it to, my nose is itching, probably like boo boo. So I need to contour, so what I will do is I'll go in, I just got this, it's actually really cool, Hotel Eris by Tarte. And this is a really, really pigmented bronzer here. And this color is Hotel Eris. Anyway, it's by Tarte. Let me get, this looks, this is not gonna blend very well, Art. I'm gonna use my, sorry, Spice. I'm gonna use my brush here. This is by, what's that place? Oh, Morphe, Morphe. This is the E59. So I'm just gonna tap, 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 tap. And then rub the mirror. I just always rub the mirror, I don't know why. So I'm going to put my in a the dig out. What's this called again? This is the cheekbone, cheekbone. All right, then you suck it in. Oh. Now you look like a man. No. And I'm going to add some on my forehead. Okay, what you're trying to do now is you're just trying to, the things you want to, you just put it on your forehead. Because anything that's too big, you just put more makeup on and it will seem smaller. So you just put your makeup on your forehead. Just just, just do it. If you want, you can go on some other mathematician's page and find out why. I just do it. I know this looks a little severe. Just give me a chance. 
Um, and then I'm going to just put a little under here just to give a little definition because sometimes in pictures it just looks like, you know, so I'm just, just do it. I used to do the little line on my nose, but I just found in photos I looked really weird. Like my nose looked weird when I had, like it looked too defined. I didn't like it. So I'm going back with the same Spice Big Brush and just kind of blend out the harsher lines. Okie dokie, now I'm going in with the Spice Stubby Brush. And this one here. And I'm going to, oh, and I'm using my MAC Blush Baby blush. I've been using Blush Baby for years. Oh, so this one I'm just gonna kind of, with the, this Spice brush, just kind of, just dot it on, I guess. What, what is this brush for? As I said, go to some other, technology page to find out the proper terminology. I just be here doing my makeup for fun. Don't harass me. Sass. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to backpedal because I've been forgetting steps, but it's okay. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Let me just cover this before I spill it. No, I won't spill it, because I'm good like that. All right, so the three things I use in my eyebrows, the first thing I'll do is I have like a long spoolie thing. Just brush them. Brush them. And then I go in with my MAC Pro Long Waterproof Brow Set, and this is in the color, I think this is deep brown. There we go. It has a nice cute little brush in there and I don't want too much product on there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush my um, brows. I'm depositing some color and I'm also just getting them to go in the direction I want them to go. I find that the more makeup I have on is the more like the darker I want my brows because that's how it's, that's how it's supposed to do it. Now, to be able to get the definition and the lines and stuff like that, I am using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Pen, and this is in Brown Dot. And it has a felt tip out as well. I used to use a brow pomade, but I found that it was just a little bit too dark for me for like an everyday look, and then it would dry out. And I was like, yo, I'm buying too many of these just to use for like evening looks. So I also used to use like a little pot for um for my eyeliner. But to tell you the honest truth, the felt tip is so easy, like it's so foolproof. Alright, so I just kind of drew in where needed hairs and I'm just brushing out those um those lines that I made just so that it doesn't look like harsh lines. Let's see. When you don't pluck your eyebrow then. So maybe tonight, instead of being a good wife, I'm going to pluck my eyebrows. So if you don't pluck, you <laughs> No, so, that's so funny. Now the saying is, they're supposed to look like sisters, not twins. And that's a lie. Whoever made that up is because they could never get their eyebrows to match. But that's okay. Mine are sisters are not twins. Definitely sisters are not twins. One is gone up way high and the other is not. How do you fix that? You don't. You just say, the Lord made me with flaws to humble me. Alright. Maybe I could just comb this up some more and then people will notice. It's because they're not plucked. Moving on. Okay, so I actually bought this new eyelash glue. I've been dying to get rid of these. I don't like them. Those demi-lobbies. 
I don't like them, so I'm just gonna use them today to use them up. And I bought this new lash glue. This is House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. Usually I just use a duo, so I'm gonna try this today. But I've actually been using, there's a lot of powder deposits on my lashes now. I've actually been using a lash serum and I want to say that my lashes are longer. I'm gonna keep using it and hopefully my lashes will just get a little more fat and fluffy. So this is called, this is called True Lash and I got this at Future Aesthetics and I've definitely seen a difference. My eyelashes are definitely longer. Um, I don't even know, do I need to put on lashes now? Look at how long those boobies are. My lashes are definitely longer. You know what, I find that when you have like a full look, do I need, you know what? I'm, oh God, these lashes live to die another day. I'm just gonna put on mascara and show you how long my lashes are. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Kiko Volume Mascara Extra Sculpt. This brand, Kiko, this mascara is really good and it is, it was $7. I mean, it's a little old, but you know, let me show you the length of my lashes. No man, my lashes have definitely grown. You know, cause right now in this pandemic, you're wearing so much mask, mask, mask. So I was like, yo, I want my lashes to pop. So Dr. T D was like, try this lash serum. And I've been using it now for what, three weeks? So I'm gonna put one coat on. And then I'm gonna let that dry a little and then do a second coat to get that nice, thick, lashy, lashy look. I wonder what my kids are doing. I think Remy is still sleeping. And I don't hear screaming, so Levi must be okay. He's probably eating. I don't know, I just really, I really like this mascara. I've gone through so many. I've gone through so many mascaras and I really like this one. The price point is perfect. It's really, really inexpensive. The brand again is Kiko. It'll be in the description. I'm gonna put the description for everything I've used down below. No, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't need lashes. I do, however, so I see the length, but I want a little bit more, because I want more volume, like more fatty, fatty. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, then I'm gonna put some more. Um, for the bottom lashes now, um, Yulon, Yulon. Girlian. So this mascara has this weird little brush. It's pretty cool. I'm just gonna put this on my bottom lashes. Actually, do I want to put, let me put some stuff down there. All right, so we're gonna go back with our palette. And I need like a, oh. All right, so we have this spice brush here, this angled one. and we're gonna do like some powder underneath. So I'm going to do Dance Hall, which is the black in the palette right here. And I'm just gonna do the corner. <laughs> These brushes are not bad at all. Sometimes I find when I put makeup on the, I don't usually wear makeup like um, eyeshadow on the bottom lash because sometimes I just find it, I don't know, like, I don't love how it looks. I love how it looks when I first do it and I look great, but then after being out for a while and your makeup is fading, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't look as polished as it looks when you first do it. I guess that's how makeup is. So what I was saying now, and this is a trick I do for carnival day as well. So if I want the eyeliner on the top just to look a little bit more pronounced, if I want it to last longer, I want it, dare say, waterproof it, I would just go in with a black eyeshadow and just deposit some powder on the top. Also, once I put on my, like if I put on, putting on lashes and the glue is making anything weird on the top, I just pat on, 
some black eyeshadow right on them. Ew, girl, you're looking good. All right, then I'm going to do, what was it? You know what, let me go in with that green. The green is Jamaica. My parents, fun fact, my parents actually wanted to name me Jamaica. And it was between, don't laugh. It was between Jamaica and tree. However, Nana was trying to find a way how to spell tree without it being T-R-E-E. -E. Now, I don't know what celebrity she thought she married, why she could give me that weird name as tree. Tree? Jamaica? Yes, that would have been really cool to be named Jamaica. Not gonna lie. But not tree. And then I guess she ran out of options and then named me after my first cousin, Jody. Ma, oh no, sorry, not my first cousin, my second cousin. Like, it, there were no other options other than Jamaica and Tree. You just had to go, like, right, you know, there. Jody, yes. Put in the eye. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in the corner with the same gold that's on top, the reggae. In case I need to show y'all again, the reggae is that one. No, the reggae is a gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little makeup video. You know, sometimes, like I can help myself. I can help myself. If I have a shoot, if I have, even have a photo shoot, if I'm going out to a party, you know, if I know that I'm gonna need to have our makeup I can help myself I can do my makeup myself and I think that you know being in the public eye being in the television industry that's been really important for me to just be able to know that I can handle myself you know when I was working at um RJR I would come with my makeup done when I was working at RETV I'd come with my makeup done unless um Dexter used to come and do my makeup all the time actually um, but I knew I could I could manage on my own. Like I wasn't worried that I'd show up and the makeup artist is not on time. But the makeup artist, if them don't come, I can do it myself. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a second coat of the Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara by Kiko. This mascara is really awesome, like I'm not gonna lie. And then in the comments below, just say like what I should have been saying along in the video, like, I don't I don't know what the, actually, I don't, this makeup thing, it's really, it's fun and everything, and, but I don't know if this is my calling for YouTube doing makeup. But let me know in the comments, let me know what kind of look you want to see, or, you know what I should have done, asked you guys, like, what colors I should have done, I might, I should have let Levi pick the colors. Sorry, Sean wasn't too amused the last time I had Levi helping me do my makeup though. So if I'm doing people's makeup to get that nice curl on the lash, I'll place the wand at the base of the lash and just ask them close, close. They get that nice curl. I'm going to take some before, well I took before pictures. I'm gonna take some after photos with this lash serum because honestly, I do see a difference. And that's enough. You know, every time I think I need more, just slow your roll because you don't want to mess it up. Let me just, um, with my sponge, I'm just going to clean up anything under the eye there. That was such an unnecessary step, but anyway. So my Agulon. Um, This mascara is actually not bad. It definitely lengthens. I just, I'm, I don't know, this brush to me is just so weird. Clump. So I just prefer to use it on the bottom lashes. Clump. I 
well, so take my advice. When you think you, just stop. Don't bother overdo it. Don't bother overdo it. All right, let's go back to the contouring of the face. Because I'm looking here in the big mirror. Oh, perfect. But anyway, all right, looking in this light now, let me see my forehead. Are we blended? Are we blended? What was this again? This, oh yeah, this was a, we are blending, blending, blending. Just in the hairline to kind of make the forehead disappear. That will never happen, but okie dokie. Then I'm gonna go, so I had my contour bronzer and I had my little, um, the blush baby right on the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to go in, come spice, what do you have for me? No. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Luster. Yeah, Luster. And kinda, this is my brush, my Morphe E34. So I'm kind of going to use this to blend the two things that I put there. No, I just love blush. I love blush. I love blush a lot. So this may be an unnecessary step, but just leave me alone. I see where I've done a little mistake. Just leave it before you mess up the whole look. And now, what you say, Spice? What you say? I'm going to use this Spice Fan Brush. And I'm going to go in with my, what's your name? Becca, Becca. My Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Podia Scacante, blah, blah, blah. And this is in Prosecco, in Prosecco Pop. So I'm just going to lightly, and I'm gonna put right where the sun would first hit on my skin. So wherever like sticks out the most, or maybe not, just put it under up or something. And then I'm going to, you think I should, let me, all right, let me, let me do that contouring thing on my nose and show you. So I'm gonna go in with spice brush, this one, and I'm going to again, dot, 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 wipe it off in the mirror. And just from the tip of my nose going up, like where you already see that shadow, like I already have that shadow naturally. I'm just gonna then, um, what do you call it? Accentuate it and go all the way up to the eye. I don't know, I just think it looks a little weird in pictures. Maybe it's because I don't need to do it. So in the pictures, it just looks overdone. Like that looks like a line. We need to like edit that out. Where is the sponge? That is too much nose line. Nobody need that much nose line. Nobody need that much nose line. I just find that that's, that's not cute. Right, well now I made the top of my nose do it, so let me bring it in some more. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Hi, I'm Jody. I have a nose. All right. Maybe I was doing the lines too far apart, so I'm bringing them in. Oh, fuck it. Just rub it all over the nose. All right. Then the same um, spice brush with the highlighter. Just rub on the middle to bring back the exact nose I had before. Is that it? Am I done? I'm done. All right, so what I would do now is depending on what I'm wearing, I would choose my, my lip color. Actually, what I'd really do is look at like my eyes. So if I have really, really heavy eyes, then I wouldn't do such a, a heavy lip, but I do like the gold in my eyes. So I think I'm gonna follow up with a gold on the lip. One momento, where is that color? Where is that color? Wow, not that one. Mocha? Nope, not that one either. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna outline my lips in Soar, and this is a MAC pencil, whatever. Um, now I find that once you're outlining your lips, it helps the lipstick not to bleed, which means just kind of run up onto the, the skin of your lips. 
And sometimes if you have wrinkly, wrinkly face, those lines are already there and the lipstick or the lip gloss just travels. That's a new technique, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Just making sure I get it even. Okay, okay. Where's the cover? Oh. I'm gonna leave that out so I can put it in the description box. Then I'm gonna go in with MAC Cosmo. There's that color there. Well cool which means I need to buy a new one because I hate when people talk to me and you can smell that their lipstick is old. They have old lipstick mode. Oh my God. I'll lip glue this. Jeez, oh. Wow. And then to kind of add a little shimmer on top, I'm going in with my NARS lip gloss. This is in color Super Vixen. All right, people. So, as I said, I washed my hair. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And then what I would do is I would just normally get like a little spray, my spray bottle, because I'd have like powder, like I maybe have any powder deposit here. I would um, just wet it up so it doesn't look all powdery and cakey right in my hairline. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna put on some jewelry. And oh, that headband really flattened my hair at the top, eh? Okay, so this is my makeup look with Spices Faces and Laces Piano Palette and I use majority of our brushes as well. So let me just dry my hair, put on some clothes and take some bomb ass photos. Mm. Look out IG, I be posting today. Thanks guys for joining me. I hope that you like the little look that I did. Um, comment below, let me know if you'd like me to do more makeup videos or what other videos you'd like. Um, and let me know how you're doing. Oh, and for my setting spray of late, I've been using this a lot. This has a SPF of 25 in it. Sunblock is so important. So this one is actually made to go over your makeup. This is by Seriously Fab. And I'm just gonna mist. And I have one in my handbag, so I'll mist throughout the day. So anyway, as I was saying, make sure you subscribe and like the video, comment below what else you'd like to see me do. And let me know if you like my makeup look today. Ooh, my head is so big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big head girl in a big head world. Hello, I am beautiful. All right, come, my children are downstairs. <laughs>